Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily of Imperfectly M. I love colorful language and colorful makeup, although YouTube might make me change my colorful language ways. Well, not change, but edit. If you've seen some of Teresa's videos, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's a whole other, maybe that's a whole other rant to get ready with me of its own. This is not a rant to get ready with me. This is new makeup hangover. That's the name. <laughs> anyway, if you are new here, I live in a city and there's noises outside. Uh, but if you are new here, New Makeup Hangover is the counterpart to New Makeup Nothing's Bingo. This is an idea that my dear friends, Teresa of Teresa's Dead and Audra of Audra at Home and I came together to create this. This is our follow-up new makeup release video, but there are no bingo cards, there are no alcoholic beverages. I mean, unless you want, I guess. I'm not judging. And we're just going through either things we missed in our last week kind of hangover, not hangover, new makeup, not bingo folder releases since we pick at random, or things that y'all have tagged us in that you would like us to talk about, or things that we just want to talk about. Now, uh, if you like colorful makeup, if you like bitches with lots of opinions, or you like cute fat babes, I hope you will subscribe. And we're just gonna jump right into this. I'm also gonna say, um, uh, I'm also gonna say, go watch my friend's videos. They will be linked in the description box too. And if you came over from one of them, hi, hello, welcome. So happy to have you here and I hope you enjoy. Uh, I am, it's not that unexpected. I'm kind of going into this uh, raw dog. I was, I was, I was, I had that word in my mind, but just saying it out loud makes my asexual soul just... Okay, well, but it's true though. I'm not, I have not really, you know, I, I keep up with releases, but not in the way of like following all the new release stuff. I just, it just happens, but I don't, I don't have anything marked. I don't have anything pulled. I just opened Transtopia. We're going to start there. I'm probably going to hop over to one of the more indie release uh, accounts, you know, I'm going to see if anything interesting is happening. <laughs> well, we have a Thank You Next themed release coming from R.E.M. Beauty. Uh, if you if you heard me speak on the whole Morphe thing in the new makeup nonsense, new makeup, new makeup nonsense, bingo. Ooh, words are hard. Uh, I, I, I have thoughts on like choosing for... Ariana Grande to be your silver bullet, but okay. Uh, I, I might be making a separate video on that, just just with the whole flash in the pan influencer brands and their their past and future. But yeah, this looks fine or whatever. It's a pinky palette for Valentine's Day. Okay. Trixie Cosmetics has a new nighttime realness palette, and I'm going to say. The marketing photos, the imagery is more interesting to me than the actual color story. Uh, it's a blue gray, like um, 12 pan palette, 12. I, I've been editing this video. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be up before this this one, but it's not. Uh, and it's a, it's a palette building video. And I, I talked quite a bit about blues and and blue is not my favorite color to put on my face. I think that this color story with the grays and the darker tones, like, I think it's not bad, but, but, uh, I'm more, I'm more brought, brought in by the packaging and the branding of it than the actual color story. Um, yeah, like, you, you do this, I mean, Trixie has done this in the past. Trixie does this nostalgic kind of retro stuff and I'm just like, I am eating it up. Like the, the TV packaging, I guess it's the box, is super cute to me. But uh, it's a $30 palette. I don't feel like that's bad for 12 pans. There are lashes and there's also merch. There's a coffee mug and a long sleeve shirt. And you know what? I'm going to say, fuck it. 
release the merch, okay? I've talked about so much in my time on the internet, on the YouTubes, how makeup as merch is such a thing. So when a brand just releases merch, I, I like that. Give me the option to buy a thing, a display piece or a mug or something rather than a perishable product. It also, it kind of, it kind of reminds me a little too much of that very boring, uh, I don't think very well done Color Rain blue palette that came out kind of recently. But I'm not going to spend this video bashing on that brand because I did that last week. <laughs> Look, Makeup Revolution keeps doing these, these, do, to, they are trying to, they, they seem to have at least visually duped the Bobbi Brown um, vitamin enriched base. They have the super base that they have obviously photographed just like the, you know, the whatever, uh, the Bobbi Brown one. And it's $12 and Bobbi Brown's is $66. Uh, according to Transtopia, this is an obvious dupe for the very beloved but also pricey Bobbi Brown face base. Both have ingredients of vitamin B, C, E, in addition to hyaluronic acid and shea butter. The Revolution dupe does not have squalene in it like the Bobbi Brown. Um, the dupe is 25 millimeters, milliliters, <laughs> 25 mill milliliters, while Bobbi Brown you can get in three different sizes. Look, this might be great. This might be fabulous, but I would rather brands, especially lower price brands, budget brands, whatever, just release a product that like looks and stands on its own versus try. I, I just, I'm not against dupes, but I question if this is going to be like anywhere as good as the Bobbi Brown one. I haven't tried it. I think I had like a deluxe sample of it or a packet sample of it. Audrey and I talk about this a lot. Of course we do. We talk about a lot of things a lot. But with skincare, with dupes, I think that there is budget and lower price point skincare that's fucking phenomenal. But I have a hard time swallowing somebody actually saying, oh yeah, this actually performed just as good or better than a more expensive piece of skincare. And that is not to say that all expensive skincare is good skincare, but I just think it's a more, uh, it's a more nuanced conversation. And I think that trying to dupe a formula, but missing a very like core ingredient like squalene, I don't know. It might be a good cream, but I'm not going to say it's a good dupe for the Bobbi Brown. I think I'm I'm going into more nuanced conversations that I'm not going to be able to have in this video. So I will just say, if you have lower price point skincare and your skin is super happy and you love it, and you have not been impressed by more expensive skincare, great, great, good for you. But also, if you have more expensive skincare and you are happy with where your skin is at, I don't think it's a placebo effect. I'm probably gonna get canceled for that, but that's okay. Perfusion has a new Metachrome collection. The, the imagery of this is so much more interesting than the, okay, okay, okay. So there's a 25 pan palette that is circular and has circle pans of different sizes. And it looks like there is a center shade of like a shimmering blue. I think it's interesting that they're calling this metachrome because it makes me think of multi-chrome, but they're not saying anything is multi-chrome. There are eye shift, oh. <laughs> Read before you speak eye-shifting multi-crumb duos with primer. So those, you know, you know, it's funny. What's funny about the multi-crumb duos is the packaging that they are in is reminiscent of an indie brand that was trying to sell shadows in packaging like this, but white, and saying that they were hand-pressed and handmade. So I have no problem with this product, but I will say 
if you have seen an indie brand marketing the kind of like multi-chrome in a glued in pot situation like this, they're, they're not handmade. Some of us, some of us learned from Notice Beauty. Others did not. But I'm fine with Profusion doing it because like it's, it is what it is. I think you can get them on like AliExpress and Alibaba. There is a Glitter Tech Eyebrow Gel and Gems. There are Techno Duochrome Liners. And there's a Meta Magnetic Lashes Set. Y'all, I, I, okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know if these lashes are gonna be for me just cause they, oh! Y'all, I am super happy to be seeing more and more brands do magnetic lashes because Profusion is a good price point. The Meta Magnetic Lashes set is $15 for four pairs of lashes and the liner. I don't know if the liner or the lashes are going to be as good as my Kiss. The Kiss Magnetic Liner and Lashes are fantabulous, but the thing that I have been wanting within the magnetic lash world are more fun lashes that aren't necessarily really thick band or really expensive ones. And this lash set has some little like lashes with blue gems on them and some big wispy ones. And they might not be perfect, but they are on my fucking radar because even if the liner isn't great i don't know it might be good it might not be i have this and and this is my second tube of this so i have plenty i am actually super i i want more light wispy magnetic lashes but i also know i'm probably in the minority there and then the the liner pencils they kind of are giving me like glisten kaleidos-esque um, liners, I don't know if they're as good as the, the Kleidos ones are nice. I'm wearing a couple of them today. Um, I was gifted, a friend gifted me the liner, so I can't necessarily say I would spend all my money on multi-chrome or duochrome liners, but I'm a broken record with Perfusion. I think that what they're bringing to the market is exciting and interesting. I just think it is. I think that having access to this kind of stuff in a Walmart or on their site at these price points is fucking solid. It's um, launching online on the 13th. So yet again, Perfusion gets some applause from me because uh, I think that they are actually interesting, like affordable makeup and that's exciting. Oh, 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 speaking, speaking of a brand that excites me about face, has revealed this new cherry pick lip color butter for $15. So it's infused with a deliciously fruity scent and blend of lip loving ingredients like pomegranate flower extract and cherry butter, high shine, balmy texture. So I know not everybody likes things like, like I love the Fenty gloss scent. I, I love that like watermelon candy scent. I do enjoy the Wet Cherry Glosses, the, the look and the scent from Lime Crime. So I'm, I'm curious about the fruity scent, but, 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 <sighs> y'all, oh, I love glossy, balmy lip products. I love, oh, okay. So this, this line, it's pretty. I'm not gonna say, so like these colors look really juicy they almost verge to the point of looking almost like an oil, like a lip oil balm, which isn't always my favorite, but About Face has me, I, 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 I currently have about a half dozen products from them I wanna try. Mm. I would say with this, I could easily pick up a couple of, anyway, I'm interested in the brand. I'm, I'm getting too specific and I'm just like, I think that this is a pretty color range. I think you cover some of the more neutral colors a little bit more safer. And then you have really deep, rich colors and bright colors without it being this huge product line. And for $15 each for them being in an Ulta or in Ulta, I'm, I'm curious. I'm definitely curious about these.
they're not exactly accessible to me right this moment, but I want some. I want at least one, maybe multiple. Look, sometimes Shantakai really gets me. Something about this gets me. The Spring 2023 Collection Wild Meadows from Shantakai is released. So there's an eye quad, there are blushes, and lip cheeks. Or it's, it's not out yet, but it's been revealed. The eye quad is whatever. Um, the blushes and the lip cheeks look so beautiful. Now, the thing with this packaging, so, okay, the blushes. The blushes both have a, like, peony flower embossing on them, and then it feels like, like, very realistic photo packaging. I find it really pretty. I might enjoy... Like I might have liked that like flower packaging that they put the blur powder in a couple of years ago, a little more, like a little more playful, but there is something enticing about it. Especially I would say the deeper, brighter blush with the purple flowers. And then the lip cheeks always call my name. I was just gushing about, you know, bombing glossy lip products. And I have to say the green packaging with the peachy tone lip product. It's this, this is fantasy me dreaming over this because the blushes are $72 each, the lip cheeks are $55 each. No time soon, but like, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. <laughs> I need people to make smaller palettes. <clears throat> that includes CXC Beauty. Mm -mm. No, I no other words just just no okay so i know that in the first new makeup announcements bingo of the new year i had some words for the whole pat mcgrath lunar new year release well i've seen like two other brands doing some shitty things so i thought i would just mention them because absolutely the fuck not so first off, I want to give a shout out to this creator on Instagram. The account is Hi Hyodo Yongo, and it's I'll have their account on the screen. But they shared this thing about Dior. Dior has a Rouge Dior Lunar New Year Limited Edition lipstick. It is just looks like an existing red lipstick that they created a new, a new box for, not a new component for, the box. So this creator said, considering Dior's lipsticks are refillable, I'm surprised the lipstick case didn't have a design and it's just the box that's special. It looks like cardboard too and not like those old lipstick holder cases. And that's the thing is they could have made a new component taken existing lipsticks in stock and and put them in the out of the uh, that's what refillable means it's like you can easily this doesn't do that i'm just i'm just a hand talker so anyway i think that it's uh shitty to see just like not even a new component being made but just new new packaging cardboard new cardboard and then the other one that I saw that was, uh, <sighs> so Gucci Beauty. So for the, the winter time, the holidays, they had the limited edition Rouge à Lèvres Lunation lip colors to elevate your shine. And they're those like glitter exterior type of lipsticks. And I don't know if this has been shared anywhere or if this was just discovered in this discord that i'm in but um gucci also recently revealed some lunar new year releases and a lot of the products that are photographed are existing things blushes lipsticks blah 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 but i thought it was interesting that they chose to uh remarket the Rouge à Lèvres Lunation, I'm probably not saying that right, uh, lipsticks for Lunar New Year. Collection Rouge à Lèvres Lunation lipsticks with, with a three-dimensional glitter finish come in two key shades of red to celebrate the year of the rabbit. And I'm just like, 
So you took your existing lipsticks and photoshopped them on your your backdrop. Okay. I just I just did, look. Everything's a cash grab. I get that. I get it. I get that business marketing. It's all a cash grab. But there's like levels to this for me and in my head. And I feel like these brands just continue to like do bullshit. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give people like, I don't know. I'm not going to give them credit for shit when I'm like, okay, you took a couple of lipsticks that didn't sell the, the holiday times so and now you have remarketed them like don't frame it like it's like oh we made these reds to celebrate the lunar new year anyway i have to say i still have very negative feelings about this brand and i don't particularly buy from them anymore but also adapt i feel like has continually had less interesting palettes and formulas from their first launch to now. They have reformulated so many times and while the new reformulated shadows might be pretty, they are not as pretty as a lot of their older shadows were and I'm not buying reformulated shit for it to be less interesting. But also, I'm a green lover and I think this palette is ugly. Yeah. I just do. I think that the tones are off for me. The pops are off. And I've heard from people who follow the inspiration i think is it inspired by marvel is that what it is that it didn't even feel like accurate inspiration from it didn't even feel like it accurately translated the inspiration so you know i'm just like it's fine y'all can it's fine i'm um it's fine <laughs> I just saw that ColourPop has announced that they are adding 17 new Luxe lipstick, lipstick shades and they are claiming that some of this line is permanent. What does permanent mean, ColourPop? What does permanent mean to you? Because none of us know. It looks like Flower Beauty has launched their competitor to the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, their low light liquid contour, and they have three shades. Yet again, it's a liquid cream product I have no interest in, but I'm okay with seeing more, more brands take on this, you know, giant air quotes, luxury brand product. I have to say that MAC, MAC launched a um, like glowy skin tint. The MAC one is interesting because it reminds me of the Yves Saint Laurent skin tint, the, the whole new in you line that, that they released last year at some point in time. And I was like, that looks cheap for that brand. But then for MAC, I'm like, eh, that looks kind of nice. Uh, I'm a mess, okay? Sorry. Why do the colors in the She Glam collection make me think it's a collaboration with Dunkin' Donuts? And that is said with all insult in mind. And Fenty entered the uh, Lunar New Year celebrations with a red lipstick case and red shades. Their lipsticks are refillable. They're not Okay, according to this, now I'm looking at Turn Moon, which, but according to this, they're not being marketed as Lunar New Year's, which, okay, I actually, I, I, I don't mind that. Um, and the names are like Danger Dancer 
frequent flyer and kiss and cutie. So I think the timing is, is well done. And at least it's, uh, it could be worse. Gucci and Dior and Pat, it could be worse. Uh, oh, speaking of sh speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, she is coming out with a matte version of her liquid blushes. Now, this is the highlighter that I keep holding up because I have it over here. Um, I had some of her, and they were actually decluttered to me, some of her shimmering liquid blushes. And I always felt like, like I actually like this product it's not my most spectacular product in my collection, but I've been using it. Um, I found that the blushes were too much shimmer, not enough color in a very liquidy formula. So I didn't love working with them. I think a matte formula, a matte liquid could be nice. I have no interest in buying it. But I actually thought it was smart because I felt like the shimmering blushes were just, it was hard to control to get the right pigmentation versus shine. I'm gonna end this because I feel like I'm going through most things. I'm gonna end it with two little like store collab updates. So previously, uh, ColourPop had talked about being in Target and I felt like it was framed as like a holiday kind of exclusive, which obviously to me felt like, okay, they're testing the waters and seeing if it's financially, you know, a smart move. It seems like it is. And what ColourPop is doing is that they are putting their uh, best sellers and essentials into Target. And so it just looks like they have made new packaging, a clear cover palettes for new monochromatic palettes. I don't know if these were already in Target or if these are new, but yeah. And then they're getting um, super shocks, liquid liners, cream gel liners, mascaras, the brow products, a bunch of the lip products, complexion. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. I, I am gonna say that like, I, I don't need ColourPop and Target but I get why it's happening and why it happened. Uh, I, I don't I don't know if I like the feel or the look of like a clear cover palette compared to, I mean, this is, this is not the same, but this is the one that I have. This is the only color prop palette that I have at this point the, in the limelight. Um, compared to the solid cover, like cardboard or plastic. It's just interesting to see them both in Ulta and Target, and here's the thing is I've already felt like Colourpop is so repetitive um, within their releases. I do feel like this whole like Colourpop releases, Colourpop for Ulta, Colourpop for Target, is just gonna keep this like overwhelm repetitiveness up. I do kind of wish if you were going to have all of these like ult exclusive things and target exclusive things that you would maybe release less repetition within your own line. But I'm not ColourPop's target market by any means. And if I was a teenager or a younger, if ColourPop had been in Target five years ago, I would have freaked the fuck out. 10 years ago, or I don't know how long they've been around. But yeah, so, and this actually, this is another example of a brand moving into a store that feels just, it's a little late. And that is Glossier. So Glossier announced, and they're going into Sephora, not Target. The Glossier Sephora thing, I felt like was announced like mid 2022, but it seems like it's officially rolling out now or soon. I think that like, okay, Glossier closed down, I think a lot of their retail storefronts um, over the last couple years, I think, which makes sense, especially in the world of online shopping and in the world of still living in a global pandemic. We're just, I don't feel like people are out shopping as much as we've seen with the Morphe closings. 
So I, I do think it's smart, but it still feels a little too late. I do think it's nice that you could go into your Sephora and actually swatch the concealers or swatch the skin tints or get a sample of them or stuff like that. But I wonder if this is, this also feels like maybe a move to try to save the brand. And I wonder, I wonder if it's going to do anything. I wonder, considering that Sephora just dropped item beauty and selfless by Hiram. Like, I wonder if they're trying to see if Glossier can like capture in some of that younger money that they obviously did not get with item and selfless. It's just an interesting, it's a weird time in the world, obviously, and in the beauty world. So yeah, I'm like, I'm not mad about it. I also, I do really like the Glossier Lash Slick, so if that were to make that mascara more accessible, you know, I'm not upset about it. But at the same time, I truly don't care about Glossier, so. Random musings about the makeup world aside, I mean, I guess that's the entire point of this video. I think that's where we're gonna end it. I feel like I covered anything that's interesting. That's been a lot. Actually, I covered a lot. For a week. Okay. Yeah, I did fine. It's fine. And I want to thank my patrons and my channel members. That is such an amazing way to support me. If anybody watching feels like joining, either when you join, you are welcome in either or both. Um, you don't need to in both. I'm just saying words. But thank you so much for being here, for watching, for following or subscribing or liking if you choose to do that. And uh, I definitely am curious to hear any of your thoughts about Lunar New Year's releases, beauty brands and stores, any of the things I talked about today. And always feel free to tag me on Instagram at any new releases you would like to hear me blab on about. But most importantly, don't forget to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it, my friends. I literally just yanked my wig off, turned off the camera, Blend Bunny Lure Palette. I see you. I see you with that theme. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs>